good. We have another battle here. And this one was a random battle on Pokemon Showdown. And I like, I pretty much liked how it went just because I had nothing really to do with it. So, yeah. He leaves with a Curlia, and I send out any Electros. I go for the U-turn, and it hangs on with the Focus Sash. So, yeah. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I go out to my Togekiss, and he will o me, but I don't really care about that, because I don't plan on using this thing at all. So I go for the T-Wave, I paralyze it, and he goes for Destiny Bond. So, I'm like... Eh, I don't really need this Togekiss. Everything on this team, I can deal with some other way besides this. So, I kill it. And there goes my Togekiss as well. So, it's another Pig Knight. I go back out to my Electros. He goes for the Flame Charge. The does like, what, 31%? So, I go for the Aqua Tail. It leaves it with 3%. I mean, you couldn't just kill it. You couldn't just kill it. This is that too much to ask. So, I switch out to my Charmeleon, anticipating the Flame Charge. And he goes for it, and it still does a decent amount, like two of them, and I'm at 50%. So that's a four hit KO, but he only has 3% health, so yeah. I go for the Dragon Pulse, you're not going to sweep me with 3% health, I don't care. So he goes out to a Sharpedo, I switch into my uh, Murdom Wash, expecting like an Aqua Jet or something like that, but he goes for, for Protect, and I don't know why. So he switches his Sharpedo out to his Thunderous Darien, and I've not played enough Black black 2 or white 2 to know anything about this thing so it kind of scares me so I go up to my Clefable and he goes for the focus blast so yeah there's that's a dead Clefable because he outspeeds so two focus blasts would be more than enough to kill it so I go up to my Surviper and right now he makes pretty much the worst move he could have made in that situation besides forfeit he goes out to my Weedle he goes out to his Weedle and I go for switcheroo so I give him my choice scarf and I get a black sludge so now he's faster, but I have a black sludge to do with whatever I want. And I go for the flamethrower to kill his Weedle. So he sends in his semi pour, and I go for. Well, he goes for the nasty plot first. And I go for the Giga Drain because I want to be back to full. Because there's one thing, I have a plan. As soon as I got that black sludge, a plan for him. So he sent out a stun Thunderous Darien. He goes for the hidden power, it does 24%. Switch a root. Bam, I give him my black sludge. Now this thing, I have nothing to worry about. And I get leftovers back, so it was just perfect. So, now that I have leftovers and he has black sludge, all I have to do is wait for this thing to die. So I go for the flamethrower. It's doing about 36%, but he's also taking damage from the black sludge. So, that's like 48% per turn. So, two turns and he's dead. Does he stay in for those two turns? No, of course not. I wouldn't either. So, I go for the flamethrower on the Sharpedo. And it does still a decent amount. It's doing the same on Sharpedo that it's doing almost the same on Sharpedo that it did on Thunderous. So he goes for the Crunch. I go for the Giga Drain. Kill his Sharpedo. Get my HP back. And so he goes back out to his Thunderous because it's the last thing he has left. He goes for the Hidden Power. It does 25%. I go for the Flamethrower. And then he dies because of the Black Sludge. So... The reason I like that so much is because it was a series of two plays. One was luck and one was just all skill. And that's the reason I like that so much is because as soon as I got that black sludge, I knew it was over. I knew the only thing that I couldn't take was his thun thunderous. And once I got the black sludge, it just killed itself for me. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. And, yeah, have a nice day.